on the house. This was your brand, Jack Daniels. I used to see the bottles in our home, our real home before all this. I smelled one once. It smelled like something on fire, which I suppose it was. So we lived in Florida, a tiny place, but it was comfortable and we were happy. I mean, we were grieving. We were traumatized, but there was happiness too. But she, she would look away. She'd look at me, but she'd always look away after a second or two. It took me a while to notice it, but after the overlook, she wouldn't look me in the eyes, not for long. Couldn't figure it out. What is it? Oh, it's nothing, Doc. It's nothing. Thinking about Dad. No, I'm not. You are. You don't want to. Don't worry about me, Doc. I'm fine. We're fine. It was you. She saw your eyes in me, and she'd have to look away. It tortured her to have to do that, so I fixed it. I fixed it for her, and it was the last time I ever used it, so that she wouldn't see you anymore when she looked at me. his imaginary friend. Help me, please, Tony. Maybe something warm. Just one of those things, you know, purely an accident. I wouldn't touch one hair on his goddamn little head. I love the little son of a bitch. Well, Danny had scattered some of his school papers all over the room, and my husband grabbed his arm, you know, to pull him away from him. As long as I live, she'll never let me forget what happened. But... On this particular occasion, my husband just used too much strength and he injured Danny's arm. I did hurt him once, okay? It was an accident. Completely unintentional. Could have happened to anybody. And it was three goddamn years ago! The little fucker had thrown all my papers all over the floor. All I tried to do was pull him up. It's enough to make a man sick. And this is the medicine. So tell me, Bob. Danny! Danny boy! Are you gonna take your medicine? I'm not. <laughs> 